What's up with you? For today's video, we really full Sunken Evolution team. We got Sunken and Sunflora. Sunken's the greatest, strongest Pokemon of them all, people. Now, we got Chlorophyll, Solar Power, and Early Bird. So, some interesting abilities. I'll be using two Sunken and two Sunflora to make up a team of four. If you'd like your own custom theme team or Pokemon sweep, you can check it out at patreon.com slash pimpmine. Links in the description of the video, and let's get into it. So I've got two battles with the Sunken Evolution team, and this first team was actually really, really cool. Uh, this is a battle against Skylar, and we have a Love Dis lead. So obviously today's battle will be on BDSP2. Uh, unfortunately, Sunken is only available on here. I'm actually trying to remember the last time I did a Sunken sweep. So I've got a Sunny Day Solar Beam Protect and Growth Set. I've got the ability as Chlorophyll, so I can double Sunken Speed, because it really isn't that fast, so it really actually does need that. And I've got Max Special Attack. But as you know, or if you didn't know, Sunken stats are really, really terrible. So this was a very, very difficult team to actually uh, use. But, you know, more on that a little bit later. So I've set the sun up here, and we had the Love Disc setting the uh, the rain up, but it's going to be a fail for that. Uh, now I'm going to be going for a Solar Beam. So Solar Beam with the sun up is going to activate right away. Uh, the Nature Up on this Sunken as well was... Mo uh, no, I actually run this one as Timid. I was going to run Modest, and I looked at the speed, and I'm like, I better run Timid. So that's going to be uh, the end of Love This. Now, the next Pokemon I come in is going to be another Love This. It's a full Love This team. Try not to fall in uh, in love, people. So I've got Solar... I might as well just get at this page. I was like, well, I'm just going to get going for Solar Beam. You know, I've got nothing to lose here. So uh, Sunken's going to keep spamming Solar Beam. Uh, the good thing about this is I don't even know if it... I can possibly a choice scarf love disc may be able to outspeed me in the sun, but that's about it. So uh, the love disc is going to have a focus sash as its item, and it's going to be using rain dance here. I was like, I was like one of them used rain dance. So the love disc has got the rain going. Now, uh, love disc has got the ability swift swim. So it's quite funny. It's got a, uh, a weather induced speed ability to do exactly like Sunko. So now I can't use solar beam. Well, I could use it, but it's going to charge this turn. So I thought. If I go for Sunny Day this turn, I can outspeed the next turn, and then I can go Solar Beam like right away, and it'll activate right away. I've got the item as Focus Ash too. So Love This is going to pop an Ice Beam there. Sunken is going to be leaving that one on one health. I was a little bit worried about a freeze, but thank goodness you know it didn't happen. So I get my Sunny Day up again, and continue the Sunken uh, onslaught there. Sunken Shiny doesn't look very good. Like, even like even a Sun Forest, to be honest. You get to see, but I wish they, they sort of got, like, better Shiny uh, Pokemon. Like, they're sort of like one of those disappointing ones that just... I guess they go, like, a little bit darker. That's about it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, I've got to ask this question, too. Is anyone... I like to ask this question. Is anyone's favorite Pokemon out there, Sunken and Sun Forest? Anyone that's watching this video right now, like, this is your absolute favorite Pokemon... Um, maybe if it's not your favorite Pokemon, is it a Pokemon you really like? Let me know in the comment section. I always like to ask these questions because these are Pokemon, you know, that not many people would uh, probably use or even care about. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Love This. It's shiny. It's, you know, Love This shiny looks fire. Like, it really does. So, um, we've got my option here to go for another Solar Beam here. We've taken out two Love This so far, so things are going pretty... We're actually getting a low-key Sunken Sweep. However, the Love This is going to have Aqua Jet. So, I think that might have been only one of the few ways... For love just to take out my sun cream. unless you know some of these other ones may have had a focus ash. I wasn't really sure. Uh, so going to Sunflora right now, as you can see that I guess Sunflora is shiny. It looks like the uh, the sunflower is sort of wilt. Do you reckon it looks wilted? Just the, the coloring on it uh, compared to the uh, the non shiny one. It looks like it's it looks like it's been out in the sun too long. I had to say that. One. Anyway, so we got the uh, love just going for Enjoy here. Now this is a this is a pretty powerful set. Sunflora has got a lot of special attack, like a lot. And I gave this Life Orb and Solar Power, which it absolutely hits like a truck. Uh, the EV spread was Max Health and Max Special Attack Modest Nature. So we've got Sludge Bomb, which is good for opposing Grass types. We've got Petal Dance. 
uh, hyper beam for a bit of coverage and also sunny day. Uh, it's good when this actually gets earth power. I don't think I got earth power on uh, BDSP, so I don't, that, that's why I didn't give it to you. Normally I would though, uh, so I can hit steel type Pokemon. Uh, anyway, uh, so we got some uh, life orb damage there and I'm going to be confused by the pedal dance. Now Loftus actually was able to completely stall out my son here. Not that that is really going to matter too much, but it, uh, it actually managed to do like a tiny little bit more damage to me and it ate a leech berry and it's going to be able to take some for it. But very, very lucky getting two endures on her own. That was that was straight risk there. Like I, I, I'm not sure whether um, you know, the other ones would have been able to you know, actually deal with my uh, Sun Fora there. I mean, they could have. So in the next set, we got a Sun Curve. This is an Endeavor, Protect, Attract, and Bullet Seed set. Uh, we got the Love Disco for Flailing, and obviously it's going to be putting me on one health here. So I can go for a Bullet Seed. Let me tell you what the EVs uh, spread on this Sun Curve is. Now, this Sun Curve also had the chlorophyll ability. So both my sun kerns had chlorophyll because they really, really did need it. The sun floras, I did stuff differently. So the one you got to see before, the life or one, that was the solar power one. Uh, the sun kern is uh, EV's uh, max. Uh, we got max attack and I think I gave it max speed. That That's pretty much it. So now we got the, um, we got love this coming. It's a special set. It's going to be uh, taking me out there with the skull. So bye bye sun kern. It was, it was a good performance anyway. Now my last Pokemon is going to be Sunflora. Now, this is my favorite Sunflora set. Uh, we, uh, we got a Rest, Curse, Petal Blizzard, and Ingrain set. I thought this would be pretty cool. Sometimes I like to swap out Ingrain with another move, but we're using Ingrain today with Leftovers. So we've got to love this going for a Rain Dance. Now, the cool thing about Sunflora, it actually gets the early bird ability. Now, what's the early bird ability? If you can imagine, right, you're sleeping. Normally, Pokemon sleep for two turns, right? But with early bird, well, you only sleep for one turn. So it's really, really good. So say you're sleeping in right, you know, you see... Has anyone ever, like, this is a, this is sort of off-topic question. Has anyone ever been, like, you've got to be somewhere or going to work right, and you put your snooze on your phone, and you're like, oh, yeah, I only sleep for, you know, 10 minutes. Let's have a little sleepy. And then you sl literally sleep in by an hour. <laughs> I've done that before. It's, uh, yeah, you, you must get up. Don't hit the snooze button. You get wrecked every time. Anyway, back to the bell there. Uh, that's going to explain what, uh, you know, early bird is in real life. So, anyway, we got this sun for all right. We've got ingrain. We plant them roots. And we've got the leftovers happening. So, lo lots of, uh, you know, different uh, recovery going on here. Uh, the EV spread is max health and max special defense. And we got our uh, curse to boost my defense and attack. And I've got rest to heal off any damage too. The great thing about early bird is you can go to sleep and you're only asleep for one turn and then you're up straight away. So, you know, it, it rest is like infinitely better than, you know, having to sleep there for two turns, which you can easily be taken out. So now Love This is going to be uh, wrecked there by the Pedal Blizzard and I've got all my recovery going, which is great at the moment. Now there's one Love This left on, I think I had like one health and then it swapped out and there was another one. So this is a new one. This is the uh, the, the Soul Heart. All right, we've got uh, my options here are to go for Petal Blizz. I mean, Petal Blizz is going to take all of them out. I feel like it almost could have done it without a curse, but just in case I wanted to get one going, in case we had like a bulky, uh, you know, bulky love disc. Blizzard hits me really, really hard, and then it freezes my sunflower. You wouldn't read about it. So I was like, okay, well, uh, my, my flower, it's like in wintertime, right? Uh, you know, with flowers, it meant to hibernate and stuff like that. But this uh, this sunflower, is just, it's just frozen at the moment. Like, you can see it's leaves are just like right in one spot. It stopped moving. Now, I can live one more Blizzard here due to the ingrain and the leftovers, but I better, like, thaw out soon. Otherwise, I'm going to get dropped by the Loftus. So Loftus is going to outspeed me again. It's going to land a Blizzard. I just lived on 24 health here, and I'm still frozen solid. Man! So there's nothing I can do. I just gotta hope that I can. Uh, you know, I was almost gonna say wake up, then uh, wake me up inside. I was hoping that I could uh, thaw out and then go for Petal Blizzard. I mean, I'm, I'm still getting some decent health back. I probably need a miss on this turn and then you know to unfreeze and to take out the last two. Love this. Unfortunately, love this is gonna freeze me on the first one and he land all three blizzards in a, row, in a row. Like there's nothing you can do right there. Um, a really cool team there. I'm definitely not salty, and uh, we'll go on to the next battle there. There. I thought my Sunflora was going to win. I thought I was going to win that battle easy with Sunken, but there you go. Things happen, you know. Uh, nothing stays the same, people. So next battle here, this is against Arts, and we got a Roselia lead. Now, this thing was actually quite a good counter to my team, considering they're all uh, going to be, uh, you know, grass type. Now, this was so this was a solar bang with Sunny Day set. So on all of my sets, except 
one I had. Yeah, I definitely wanted uh, Sunny Day on. Sorry, I had Sunny Day on two of them. So I had to have the Sun mostly working on on my team. The bad thing about having Sunny Day on this team was firstly they were all weak to fire. So that was very, very bad. And say if you come across any other Pokemon Chlorophyll, well, that was really, really bad too. Like, imagine stuff like Venusaur and those sort of things. So uh, what I did here, I tried to do a little sneaky on Roselia because it was hitting me pretty hard and with even with its grass type move. So I went into my um I went into this little sun curtain here. I was like, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll go for an endeavor here. That'll put me on one health, and then I'll swap my other sun curtain and take it out because, you know, obviously uh, Solar Beam's going to do nothing to this thing. I got out spared. I was like, what is this? Thing? It must have been a speed tie there. So that's the end of my sun curtain because both my sun curtains are the same. So I was like, what in EV? So I was like, what the heck? So that was really, really unlucky when you think about it. So swapping in my second Sunkern here, and like almost like half my team's already gone, like already within the space of like, you know, like a minute, you know? Um, let's go for Solar Beam. So I outsped it this time. I was like, well, this is not going to do any damage at all. That's why I swapped into the other Sunkern. So that would be doing the damage with Endeavor and sacrificing itself, and this would just finish it off with Solar Beam. So that plan was a, uh, that was a wash, people. So uh, Roselia has got big special attack, and it's also, it's like a mixed attacking set. It's going to have Power Whip and uh, Pedal Dance. So very, very scary there. Even, like, even the grass moves, like, destroying me. So things are, we're in dire straits right now, people. Now I'm going to go into my Sunflora, the Wilted Sunflora, and this has got, um... I've got Hyper Beam, so I, I don't think Sludge Bomb will actually take it out. Like, honestly, I'm going to have to go for a Hyper Beam here. So I went for Hyper Beam. I was hoping that Roselli would hit itself for Confusion, and it didn't, and it managed to get another Petal Dance off. And it still did really good damage to my Sun Floor. I was like, man, like, it's lucky I'm running Max Health. So go for the Hyper Beam. Thank goodness it's not going to miss. It's probably the first time you've seen a Sun Floor use Hyper Beam in your life, and that's going to be the end of the Roselli. So bye-bye. And uh, I can't say I missed that Pokemon. So next Pokemon to come out of here is going to be versing my Sun Flora on like half health. I actually uh, actually got that uh, solar power there, the use of it um, on that last turn. It didn't take any damage, which is pretty cool. Next Pokemon is Raticate. Actually, Shiny looks not too bad. There's like, a, like, a, like a, a nice deep orange. Now, Raticate is going to be going for a focus energy on my recharge turn. So like, oh, this is, well, this is going to be a crit 100%. I decided to just go for uh, Petal Dance again. So uh, Raticate is going to turn out to be a special Raticate. Oh, that's nice. Prop to that. Here comes a Shadow Ball. Man, Raticate special take is this hot smoking trash and I was running Max L. So that's I guess that's why it did take me out and that is going to be the end of Raticate there. Um, next Pokemon here. Oh, I'm going to have like some more damage from Life Orb. Next Pokemon is going to be the Ditto. I was like, oh, this is bad. If you think about it, it's going to be transforming into Sunflora. Probably the first time you've seen a Sunflora versus a Sunflora before. Only on Pinrush Channel, people. This is where it all happens. Now, it's going to outspeed me, of course, and go <laughs> go for a Sludge Bomb. And that's the end of Sunflora. So, like, man, like, this is this is bad. Like, all I've got left is another Sunflora. And this Ditto has got, you know, Sunflora's big special attacks. Like, what am I going to do here? So, I've got the options of getting the Ingrain up. They're going to go for a Hyper Beam. I was like, okay, how much is this going to do? I was running a max special defense set, so I do take that reasonably well there. I'm going to get the Ingrain up here first, and I'm going to try and rely on that. Because when you think about it here, there's no way that I'll be able to take this out with Petal Blizzard. I'm going to need a lot of boost up, like lots and lots of them, because some Fora's attack stat is, you know, is very, very bad, you know, and as I mentioned before, all my EV investment was in health and special defense, so uh, we're going to go for Curse here, which is good, uh, the Sun Fora is on its little uh, Hyper Beam recharge, but now it's always going to be able to outspeed me, because I've got a uh, negative one in speed, but I had to sacrifice that, you know, uh, so getting my boost here, this was a very, very long part of the battle too, as you can, uh, you know, possibly imagine, I was down to my last Pokemon I had to do absolutely everything I could to, uh, you know, keep it in the game. So, uh, Sunflora, the thing about, I also explain this too, when you're a Ditto and you transform into another Pokemon, you've only got 5 PP on all of your moves, right? So I thought to myself, well, all I've got to do is outlast this Sunflora Ditto, you know what I mean? So hopefully I could outlast it with my rest and early bird ability. So it was quite unique that I had this ability to make actually use of it, you know, like I had to stall out all five sludge bombs and hyper beams. The other moves like um, 
Ah, uh, the other move like a uh, pedal dance, that was fine. Like I was easily be able to do that. Plus a stun for a confuses herself. So I knew that it probably wouldn't be using that unless it got rid of all of its uh, other stats. But if it did swap, if the Ditto did swap out here, it'd still be facing the same problem. You know, it'd still have a like a limited amount of uh, PP, and I'd have full access to the rest, like full on, uh, you know, max uh, PP on my rest there. So here comes the uh, Sludge Bomb again. I lifted on two health. It was so close. Like. This Sun Flora with the ingrain and leftovers, man, it was thick. So going for the rest here, and that's going to get all of my health back here, which is great. Now, Sun Flora can go... That's two Sludge Bombs, by the way. So I was counting the Sludge Bombs, and I was thinking, and, you know, it was one high... I think it was one high beam. So here comes our uh, Sludge Bomb number three. So that's three Sludge Bombs. When you look at it right, that's a three-hit KO, because remember I set the leftovers and the ingrain up. And since I've got Early Bird... Well, guess what? I'm waking up the next turn so I can easily go rest again. So that's how I was thinking this battle could go uh, outside of a critical hit, of course. I was really, really scared of a critical hit or like, you know, two real high damage rolls. So here comes a, uh, a Hyper Beam from the Sunflora. And this is Hyper Beam number two of five. And that's not going to take me out. So I'm able to live that one, wake up and get another rest off. But I would have lived another Sludge Bomb there um, or Hyper Beam. Which is fine. So getting that uh that health back there. So they're sort of in a bit of a predicament here, not having like a huge amount of PP for the you know sludge bomb. That's the only like one of the few drawbacks of uh, Ditto being such a really good Pokemon. So sleeping this turn, I just I, what I was thinking is I got to get as many cursed up as I can, right? Um, I have to take this Sun Four out in one or two shots. Here comes another sludge bomb, sludge bomb number four, I believe that is. And so now they've only got one more sludge bomb here. So I'm going to take this advantage and go for another curse. Next turn, I can go for a rest. Then I've got to wait another one turn only due to early bird. And then yeah, I might be able to get another curse up and stuff like that. The uh, curses will also help me take out the next couple of Pokemon as well. So I thought, you know, that's definitely going to be worth it. So some more ingrained and uh, leftover recovery here. Some for us got uh, three hyper beams left and one sludge bomb and then they're gonna have to go for pedal dances you know and that's gonna be like a lot weaker so now they're gonna go for another high beam i guess and that's uh that's three hyper beams being used now on so two hyper beams left and one sludge bomb i believe so uh, another curse here I, I really wanted to get as many curses up as i could because i needed to one shot this or at least i needed to outlast it you know what i mean uh so now sludge for uh stats are gonna get boosted again there it's attack and defense i believe I've actually done this Sun for all sweep before on my channel. If there's a really like uh, avid Pip Night viewer out there that has watched all my Pokemon sweeps, they'd probably know this, but I believe I've done this sweep and I've done it with this almost exact set. I I may not have run Ingrain though. That's maybe the only thing I didn't run because I was looking at the moves that BDSP offers. I may have given it another coverage move or even a status move, but uh, yeah, I might even uh, check that out afterwards. But yeah, um, if you do like Sunflora, I've done lots of Sunkern sweeps and I've done a Sunflora sweep as well, but really interesting to know if I've actually done that. I, I believe I did this. I want to say I did it either in Gen... Oh, I reckon I might have done it in uh, Oris. I think it was the Oris days Pokemon sweep, like all the way back then. I'm starting to, I'm starting to remember these things. Anyway, so Sunflora is going to go for its final Hyper Beam here on uh, my Sunflora, and I lived out in 21 health. Excellent. And now I'm going to go for a Petal Blizzard here. Petal Blizzard almost takes out. It was very, very close. So that was excellent there. Since the Sunflora is now going to be on a recharge this turn, I can either opt to go for Petal Blizzard again or go for Rest. I was a little bit worried about one of their Pokemon left, like especially one, so I thought, uh, I better not risk it, you know what I mean? Like, let's get the rest off here and I'll just attack the Sunflora. So I'll have a lot more health back as well because, you know, if, if it, even if it's got, I think it's got one more Sludge Bomb. Let's say it does Sludge Bomb again. Well, I'm still going to have half health uh, around there when I wake up. So sleeping this turn, I just went for a curse again. Sun Four is going to go for its another high beam. This is last hyper beam, so it's used all five of its high beams up here. I actually think it might have used all of its sludge bombs up as well. So that's you know that's going to tickle, you know that uh, that hyper beam is going to tickle, and Sun Four is going to get some leftovers uh, recovery, and it's going to get its ingrain again. I like Ingrain the Leftovers. The thing about Ingrain that's good, say if you've got a bulky Pokemon and you're, you're down to your last Pokemon and stuff like that, like it's really good because it anchors you in and stuff like that and you can't get uh, phased out or anything like that. And it's extra recovery. So that's going to be finally the end of the Ditto. That was a massive matchup there. And we've got, th uh, th I think we've got three more Pokemon left to deal with here. 
But uh, that was the main threat that did it. I was worried about that. That's why I actually sent my sun kerns out earlier in hopes that Ditto would copy them, but uh, to no avail. Next Pokemon to come out here is going to be Matrug. Now, this could be a theme team as well. I'm sure, in fact, it is a theme team. So if you know what it is, leave it below in the comment section of the video. Uh, it's going to be a Rock Smash Matrug. And the thing about Rock Smash is it's not very powerful, but it does have a 50% chance of dropping a defense. So I didn't get a defense boost there at all, which was good. So I'm not sure what this Matrug set is around. Maybe it's based on Rock Smash and some other moves there. Um, but I'm easy going to be able to take this out. As you can see, my max max attack actually didn't even take Matrug out. So as you can see, that's really, really bad. It's attacks. That, so I needed all of those boosts. So I actually finally got a defense drop there for the Rock Smash. And Matrug is going to be going down there. So we got two more Pokemon left. Now there's one Pokemon I knew that I'd be able to get around easy. Unless it was like a troll set. I wasn't really sure. Now Pokemon number five uh, to come out here. I'm staying alive by the way. Oh, I've got to get some health recovery by my leftovers and stuff. Uh, the next Pokemon is going to be the Cast Forms. I'm like, okay, is this a Sash set? I could be in a bit of trouble if it did set the hail up. However, it's going to go for attractive. So I'm assuming it's got some sort of weather move. You know, Blizzard, I was worried about. That was like even Weather Ball um, from the Sunny would be really bad too. So I managed to get around the attract, which is good. And that is going to be the end of the. Pe Peppa? Peppa? I'm not sure how to say that. So bye bye cast form. Um, I got some more recoveries from the leftovers and I got some more recoveries. Wait, I didn't even need any more rec Wait, I needed one more. Like that, that extra one health is going to change the whole battle, people. But that's it, people. The last Pokemon here is going to be the beat off. I was like, okay, well, this is going to go down in one shot. I'm going to go for the Petal Dance here. Not the Petal, the Petal Blizzard. It's going to go for a... Oh, it's, just, it's a simple double team. That's scummy. So it's going to get a, uh, a negative two in a... Sorry, a positive two in a base in this there. I managed to land it on the very first one. That is the end of bit off, And that is also the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed the Sun Kern Evolution team. I'll be back tomorrow with a sweep, actually. Peace out, people.